Oh my gosh. Can I ever record any form of a speed build without a single technical issue? Because in all honesty, I don't think I can because today one of my monitors just decided to stop working and then my camera decided to stop working and I'm blaming all of it on OBS because all of my problems started when I went to go open OBS and it crashed. So we're here, we're behind schedule, everything is fine and dandy, don't worry about it. But today we are going to be doing another speed build. Um, <laughs> help us all if we can even get through this with everything working. I was also planning on recording a Not So Berry episode after this, so let's just pray that everything keeps working and I can do that. But what we're gonna be building today is actually pretty exciting because it's a little bit of a spoiler, but also not really because we are building a sorority house for specifically my not so berry let's play. I'm sorry I'm looking down. I forgot to pull up my like rundown of what I wanted to talk about in this speed build on the computer beforehand, which is what I normally look at when I'm recording. Because I'm just done opening things, all right? This is what's going to be running on my PC. <laughs> and that's that. But the plans for this build and in the series is kind of like big and I've been really excited about doing this because I feel like this is the generation which it'll fit the best so I'm excited to be able to do that because this is for my Rose generation so she is kind of like the you have everything in life but like you always want more kind of sim and she ends up becoming the top of the politician career and everything like that so I feel like what better place for someone <laughs> sounds so bad what better place for someone who has everything than a sorority house I feel like I can say that because I was in a sorority for like a month <laughs> but it just felt fitting for Ginger to be in a sorority but also be the president of a sorority I think like being in charge and being a leader and things is kind of where the rest of her life is going so it felt very fitting to do and I've been like running around meeting all of the sims like in this save file so I'm excited for her to have like some of the side characters like Dia and Yuna be in this sorority to be able to just like hang out and kind of force them into my club and maybe probably cheat them into still being a university student because sims like to just like randomly take a single class at university and then never come back if you're not actually playing them so we'll have to see how in practice this actually works because i'm using the club system to make it work so we'll see i've never done this in an actual gameplay so we'll have to see if it actually works out i created a club called um sigma iota mu which is sim sim and I joined, I'm gonna add all of her friends, and then I made this house only livable to university students who are in that organization, and I might have to change it. I don't know. I don't know! Hopefully that'll work, but I'm excited for it. But yeah, that is the rundown on what is going on. I feel like this was so freaking chaotic of an introduction to what is going on, but it's fine. I feel like I'm gonna take a collective deep breath, and I feel like after this week and everything that's been going on, we all probably need a collective deep breath. I don't know if I'm the only one, but I felt like this week was just like weird. So let's do that. Oh my God, you can feel, you can hear how stuffed up my nose is. And okay, big life update. Cause I feel like I posted a daycare to be built and I kind of talked about it, but it was a little bit longer. So I want to talk about it again because giant life update. Um, we got an approved for an apartment. Me and my boyfriend Christopher finally got approved for an apartment. Uh, it was actually the like first one we applied for in all honesty, so I say finally very liberally. But this was something in the makings for uh, quite a while now. We were initially searching for a house and then, uh, you know, New England. <laughs> that didn't happen. So we're getting an apartment. And if anyone knows me, I have never been chill like once in my entire life. And that definitely did not stop when it came to planning the apartment. I had not one, not two, but like multiple mental breakdowns about the floor plan of the apartment because it's so weirdly shaped. And you guys will end up seeing like parts of it, but planning furniture to fit in this weirdly shaped apartment and also furniture that like two people in their 20s can afford is just also another like task within itself 
So I've had like a couple mental breakdowns. We sat down, we opened The Sims, which is how I heal everything, and we like planned out the entire floor plan. So we are going to build it in the sims next week i believe or the week after i don't know sometime soon we're gonna plan my apartment and by plan i mean like me and chris have already sat down and decided where things are going to go that work best for us we're gonna decorate all right i am going to branch into the temporary world of build cc just because I've already, like, tried to find things in The Sims that, like, work for what we want to do. Like, we need a breakfast nook, all right? The Sims 4 doesn't have a breakfast. I am going to lose my mind. My camera did not just shut off. <laughs> okay, I don't know if I'm going to be able to record Not So Very, if I'm being honest. Like, I don't think my brain can handle that today. <laughs> Especially the chaos of what that save file already is if my camera is going to be turning off i'm going to lose my mind but regardless uh we're going to be getting into like the decorating and the finer details and i'm gonna download cc just so we can like actually plan it out because this will probably be how i decide what kind of furniture i want and i am really really excited we're gonna get into the nitty-gritty details but i kind of need to share one of my mental breakdowns that i had over this <laughs> So, a big point of contention of mine was that I wanted a space for my desk. So if you guys know, like, obviously I post YouTube videos and I stream, but I'm also a full-time graduate student on top of working full-time. So I am just exhausted all of the time. <laughs> and being able to have a space to, like, sit down and do my work separate from my bed is very important to me because I am also going for my master's in psychology. So I have read every study under the books on what pretty much, like everyone always tells you don't do your homework in your bed, like it's gonna mess it up. Well, I read all the actual studies for it, so I'm like emotionally scarred and can't do it. And obviously uh, we live in New England, we couldn't afford a house, we're getting a one bedroom apartment, all right? So there's no office involved in this, that'll come later in life. But I needed to find a place for my desk Neither of us really liked the idea of it being in the living space. I liked it most because it wasn't in the bedroom at all and it was very far away from my bed, but it ended up not being a possibility. So we're putting it in the bedroom and we were trying to find a place because my desk is really big and I have spent a lot of time and money to get this set up the way that I want it. I didn't want to change it because I, I saw so it hates change, all right? And we were doing it all out and Chris is better at math than me and we figured it out and then Chris left and Sarah's bad at math and I looked up the dimensions of the bed we were looking at, the adorable bed. Um, <laughs> and my little pea brain read that this queen size bed was 94 inches wide and 63 inches deep. And I thought, okay, I actually didn't thought, no thoughts happened at all. But I was like, a desk, like my desk is this wide and it goes back behind you deep, right? So I'm thinking, okay, the bed is 94 inches from the front and from headboard to footboard is 63. Did my brain think about the fact that 63 inches is like five foot three? Nope. And did I think about the fact that logically I've seen my boyfriend sit on a queen size bed while we were looking at it and he is 6'4", and did not dangle off the bed an entire foot. No. So when I was subtracting from the wall measurement that we had, how much this bed was, I was like, we don't even have room for bedside tables, and my desk will not fit anywhere. I'll have to sit on the bed to work at my desk and do homework because it'll just be right on top of me. It's not... <laughs> And I had to explain to Christopher after having an emotional breakdown about this bedroom layout that you know what the layout that you made with the correct dimensions of someone who knows how to measure things and measures things all day long was correct. Can you believe that or not? And the girl who plays with children all day was wrong. Can you believe it? Yeah, I haven't taught math in a really long time and I wasn't very good at it. So yeah, we have a floor plan figured out and I'm okay with it. <laughs> 
my desk is going to be changing a little bit, but I also think it kind of needed to because my desk is all white and my bedroom right now is all white. But when you live with a man and you're gonna make the entire apartment boho modern farmhouse chic, you kind of got to give a little. So we're doing like a little industrial thing and my all white and cow print desk setup just doesn't match. And while it's fine that it doesn't match and he doesn't care that it doesn't match, I have no chill. Once again, this is just Sarah has no chill 2.0. So I'm going to get probably, I'm probably going to paint my Alex drawers and uh, get a new desktop because I'm also going to add like a bump out so that I can have corner monitors and then a space to work. So I think that'll be good. And that's where we're at. We're going to do that. We are also going to be getting a full tour of my current room and setup because I love my room right now. It's very college me and very not much like what I aspire to decorate like a future house like. Like that's what I'm going into this apartment. Like I'm kind of collecting things um, where we can that I want to put in our house one day. Whereas this, I'm like, yeah, whatever. Flickr, um, Pinterest image photo wall. That's cute. Hang the albums, my records on the wall, which will be going back into their sleeves into a nice box. But... <laughs> I want to like immortalize this room and also share my setup and since I'm moving this apartment won't matter anymore so I'm cool with putting it on the internet <laughs> and that's just kind of how it goes I have to pull back up my Google Calendar and see what else I wanted to talk about um yeah that was like pretty much it I think we have like five more minutes of this speed build but like my emotional sanity right now is like so thin <laughs> and it's wild because I didn't have like a a hard week like there are days where I come on to do a voice recording and my OBS crashing is like the end of the absolute world it was my final straw today like I had to deal with Microsoft technical support because Google couldn't help me and that was like the hardest part of my day <laughs> and i've had like an overall easy week like i t sometimes i come in here and i'm just like done like with life and i'm just like i don't want to talk about it i don't want to deal with it like this is what's happening and that's not the case this time around but i am just as unhinged honestly today might be a great day to record not so very because i am perfectly unhinged but that also requires me changing my Google Calendar, and we all know how I feel about that. It's funny, actually, while we have a couple minutes, I'll share. I'm doing one of my psychology courses right now for graduate school, is we're talking about like human behavior, obviously, and how stimuli uh, like affect responses. And we're talking about like operant responses and functional responses and all of that jazz. And we did all of the readings and the learning modules. And then for our discussion board, the teacher asked us to analyze one of our own behavior um, behavior patterns and response patterns. And it, like pretty much dissect what the stimuli was. And I chose to talk about how my Google Calendar controls every aspect of my life. Because it really is like a response chain. And like my to-do list also is another stimulus that I like pro like that prompts all of my transitions from activity to activity throughout my life and it was actually I thought it was going to be a little unnerving to like dissect myself like that but I found it kind of therapeutic because I don't know if you guys know this it's pretty obvious but I have ADHD and not like oh like I'm 25 with undiagnosed ADHD like no I was I was put on Concerta and Ritalin at like in the fourth grade ADHD like I is bad and I have the worst task paralysis that you can ever see like you know most people have this though whether you have like ADHD or not of like oh they're so smart if they just apply themselves yeah the just applying myself was like not possible because of my task paralysis and that is why I'm so obsessed with my Google Calendar because I found out it was like the one thing that kind of got me in gear to, I'm gonna lose my mind. Anyway, got me in gear to do things. What a horrible image for it to pause on. Why does it keep doing that? Oh no. Honestly, 
at that point, like, you know, we're, we're pretty much done. We're going to start wrapping it up because I just can't deal with it today. We're getting, we're getting to the end though. So anyway, that was my fun little tidbit about what I learned about myself in class this week. Let's wrap up this video. Okay. Shall we? I don't even know if I'm going to go in and take screenshots. We might just cut it, but thank you so, so much for watching. My name is Saad. I post videos here on YouTube every Sunday and I also stream over my Twitch every Sunday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It'll be the first link down below. I think we're gonna stream The Sims or Life is Strange or whatever I'm feeling, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you so much for watching. Once again, please be sure to hit the like and the subscribe button down below if you enjoyed, and if you didn't, uh, keep that to yourself, okay? Cool. Um, we're pretty much wrapping at the end, you know? <laughs> I'm, bye! <laughs>